Welcome to Dream Infinity Studios um, Particle Beam Tutorial Part 3. As you can see um, from Part 1 and Part 2, I really did some significant work on my project with these little light beams. Again, with, there's no 3D program involved. All you gotta do is create the streaks like um, I showed you in Part 1 and Part 2 and kind of erase certain parts to make it look like um, it's um, kind of intertwining out of your person's body. So that's exactly what I did on this project. Um, I'm going to even delete some more um, elements here. Okay, now it's not finished though. Um, we're going to work on kind of enhancing the feeling of these um, things. Um, so here's my streak, light streak or line streak. Um, And then I'm going to duplicate this layer, and it kind of brightens up all of a sudden, or right away. I'm going to hit Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to um, let this blur up a little bit like that, and kind of enhance it, um, you know, the, to make the glow effect kind of more soft. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. Um, so we have three now. And then now this on the third one, I'm going to do Motion Blur Vertical, 90 degrees. And it's kind of blur it to like 20 pixels. Now you can play, um, you can play with the layer blending modes to see what kind of effect you get. It really depends on the photo, but I'm not really getting too much, so I'm just gonna stick with that. And uh, there we go. Um, let's see what happens if I change the blending mode with this on the second layer, and make sure if it makes any significant difference. Yeah, it does. So there we go. Already looking kind of cool. Now what I'm going to do is kind of I'm going to I'm going to enhance uh, the actual model's picture real quick. I'm going to put it on screen. I'm going to try Gaussian blurring her. Oh, there we go. About 2.5 and give her a little softer look. Um, I don't want the background to show, <coughs> so I'm just going to erase it all out. Kind of do it really rough at the moment, but it works. Oops. So erase the background. Um, I might as well kind of paint certain um, elements where I feel that it's not really necessary. So make sure I get a black brush. Um, just kind of color it in. And make sure you don't color it in too much. Um, you know, color in your model. Um, and it, this part right here looks kind of nice. A little, you know, just the skirt kind of fading out into the background. Now we have the little um, blurry part. I mean, the little softer. She has a softer skin. I'm just gonna kind of correct that. You know, kind of right away. Okay, maybe the third layer is not really necessary. Um, remember to use your opacity settings on your brush. Sorry, my phone was kind of going off there. Kind of, you know, tone down her face. Um, and there we have it. Now we're going to enhance this uh, more um, by uh, creating um, some little lighting effects and we're going to do that with this well let's call it glowing balls and well, that's what I mean by lighting effects um, now we're going to uh, make a new layer um, color this black, the, ho the whole layer black and then go to, go to uh, render lens flare I want to choose a lens flare that's 105 millimeter prime and uh, just get a small brightness of 27% or so and then just uh, choose any location like really 
There you go. And then we're going to hit screen on the gl glowing balls. And then we have these cool glowing balls. Now, we could resize this down, and it's not going to really lose quality, but resize it down. And then we have a little glowy ball here, and then we could do hue and saturation and color the balls to kind of match the beams. There, now it's blue. And now we're going to kind of randomly place it um, all over the document. Now you can hold down the Alt key and drag your layer around one at a time and you're going to get um, the duplicate copy of it. Now when you copy though, make sure that you kind of scale, you know, resize it down and whatnot to get some variety going. If, every, if all of them is like the right size, um, that's the same size I mean, um, it's kind of weird. So, I mean one or two are okay. But let's just kind of repeat it here and there. Now, I know I just did a big no-no right now because I just literally resized it and, uh, you know, I've been kind of talking about it all over that, you know, resizing it, increasing the size of something is going to um, kill the quality of the globe. But, you know, these are just little glowing balls. and literally it's not something that you should sit and you know seriously worry about the quality I mean it's just for a little tiny side effect that really kind of makes the uh, project crisp now I know I've been kind of randomly clicking all over the place but right now I'm just um, erasing all the unnecessary stuff now in the next tutorial I already showed you how to add glowing balls. I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more and kind of spicing it up. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you the next half of um, some cool tr tricks that you can do with brushes and um, so on. So stay tuned.